actually just for a couple more minutes. I'm almost done up on stage tonight, but I wanted to show you guys just one more trick if I can. If I can get all your attention, that would be amazing. So I wanted to show you guys my very favourite trick in all of magic, and there's this big problem with magic. Uh, and let me explain that problem. That problem is that you guys right now know that I'm a magician, and that every single thing I do up on this stage is just a trick. Okay, and it is. Uh, it is. It is just all magic. You're not but, Harry Potter? You don't... No, I'm not Harry Potter. I wish I was, but here's the thing. I, I want more than nothing else. For you guys to believe that what I do up on this stage is more than just a magic trick. That it's more than just magic. That you actually believe that what I do is real. And this next trick, I think this next trick does just that. But before I do begin, I just want to be super clear. I've got a cardboard box sitting on that stool. I'm not going to touch or go near that box for the rest of this trick. I'm not going to go anywhere near it. If I do, you let me know. And for this trick, I'm going to need a few of you to help me out. You don't have to join me up on stage. All you have to do is catch this paper ball. Okay? When you catch the paper ball, all I need you to do is throw it onto someone else. I need six of you in total. Okay? So the ball goes through the air just like that. The closest person to that ball. You're going to stand up. Oh, you're going to stand up. You're going to stay standing for me. And then you're going to throw it onto someone else. We now have one. We now have two. Good. We now have three. We now have four. Keep throwing. You can stay, you can stay where you are. It's okay for now. Uh, we now have four. We now have four, I think. Throw it two more times if we can. So we have five people in total. Good. And one last person in total. <laughs> This next trick, I'm going to be honest, it is probably my toughest trick in magic, so it doesn't always go right, but I'm going to give it a shot. So for the six of you who did catch that paper ball, all I need you to do is put your hand up for me, just so I can see you. Good, we do have six as well, don't we? So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. The six of you stand, all I need you guys to do, real simple, is just think of a number. Okay, now the number has to be somewhere between the number one and the number 40. Okay, between one and 40. Now there's one other rule about this number. If somebody says your number before you'll get your chance to say it, all you have to do for me is change your mind. Okay, so a number of between one and 40. Yeah, sorry, out loud, I'm not a fucking mind reader. Three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so number, number three. The number. <laughs> the number. The number three. Nice and low, but the number three. Good. Uh, a hand on me if you can, guys, as well. Good. Uh, 28. 28? Yeah. You want to stick with the number 28? Yeah. Number 28 works for me, man. 28 <laughs> is good. 28 is good. Uh, the next number. 16. Three, sweet. Six, 16. Okay, 16. 16 can work. 16. So 3, 28, 16. Got three more. Yeah. 32. <laughs> really? You have your 32. Right? You want to stick with 32? 32. 32 it is. And two more numbers. Yeah, you got to take two. Nice and low. Number two. We've already had number three. You want to go for number two? Lock it in. Number two it is. So we've got three, 32, 28, two, 16. And there's one last number. 26. The number 26. So we've got 3, 32, 28, uh, 2, 16, and 26. Now, before we get into this, I just want to be super clear. Uh, to those of you who have asked you to name a number, I haven't told you to say uh, or think of a number. I haven't told you to say that number out loud, right? Good. Uh, and, and there is no way in some kind of like paper ball throwing conspiracy that I've told you to say or think of a number. There is no way, right? I even changed it before I said it. <laughs> Good. I'm going to ask uh, the last girl to join me up on stage if you can, and a massive round of applause for her. <laughs> Your name is? Emily. 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 Nice to meet you, Emily. Emily, I've got a cardboard box on this stool, but I'm not going to touch or go near that box, okay? But what I want you to do is just pick up that box by two hands for me, just like that. Good. And then take a seat on that stool. And then take a seat on that stool. You see, in this box, hopefully, is something very special just for you. But I don't want to touch it. So maybe place it on your lap for me. And I'm just going to take off that lid so you can see what is inside that box. Emily, can you see what is inside that box? 
What is it? It's a receipt. A receipt. It's, it's kind of like a receipt. <laughs> it's actually a lottery ticket. If you just reach inside that box and pull out that lottery ticket for me, and everyone else can see that is just an empty cardboard box. You see, but on that lottery ticket are some numbers, some very special numbers, printed onto that ticket. In a second, you're going to stand up for me, okay? One at a time, you're going to read out those numbers, nice and slowly, nice and dramatically for me, okay? Nice and clear, everyone can see. And if you guys hear the number that you named, just yell out yes for me, okay? Just so everyone can know, Emily. One at a time, that first number. Two. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know the number, but I'm just shocked. <laughs> Two. Three. Three. Yep. Sixteen. Yep. Twenty-eight. Yep. Thirty-two. Yep. And twenty-six. Twenty-six. A massive round of applause for everyone. Thank you so much, Emily. A massive round of applause for Emily as well. Emily, that is yours.